Kaiser Chiefs, <laughs> have they made all the right signings? The, tra- the transfer window is closing tomorrow. And now they had one where it was open. They parked some of their assets last season. They've come into play, some of them, not as much as their fans would like as far as being blooded into that first team. But considering they are the team that had that embargo and that the window closes, Gausani, what do you make of the business they've done and um, will they be fine for the season ahead? Yeah, I think um, on my side, the strongest signing that they've made is Alexander Cole. I think for me, I'm more than satisfied with whatever they've got in him. I'm mm-hmm. still disappointed within the coach of not introducing now Jabulo from Swallows to see what they can get. Mm. Because I feel that having a having a Jabulo Nobu and having an, an, a, a, a Cole Alexander, that spine is going to be more solid now because you have a player that is technically gifted, that can play, that can restart position, that is confident on the ball can play long and short and support and also give cover. You have the same in front of you with your, your, your Cole Alexander. So now within within the left-hand side, I'm still not quite sure with the Shanti and the Mabeli. So uh, in terms of the technical side of it, I'm not happy with the left back because every morning is behind his recovery level. Understand that if that happens, are you going to play with the back three or you're going to allow one to push which side you're going to activate more? Because Chiefs is a, is a team that always will play on a transition, yes, but how is that transition coming to fruition? We have to understand in terms of the channel and the spaces and the half spaces, as the coach would tell you. The reason why the application is in that sense is so that you can have a quick counter press and win the ball and have a ball retention. But if that is not being fully effective, we're looking at a player in terms of when they defend, they struggle more in terms of keeping the center of the spine. Now they have a Dube. Now they have a Nobu. Refresh the middle where you can pull out the two, which is Matoho and Cardoso. Try these two that just came in, which is Dube and Nobu. I'm fully confident they can slaughter in there and then do wonders for the team. It's not that we're drawing, the, we're drawing uh, Abu Matoho and the Cardoso away. But Kevin, also, let's, Kevin, have, let's have some Kevin, refresh. Can I finish my point, Greg? Can I finish my point? Can I finish my point? guys are doing well. Not because the science players, they must put them. They must wait for their time. When their time comes, they must get their time. These ones are doing well. All right. Let me let me tell you something. With with the center back, you don't temper with it. Yeah. And the, 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 the contrasting factor that if you look at Pirates and Chiefs, yeah. They're having similar problems, but Chiefs have a solution right now. With Pirates mm-hmm. also, they just got in a solution with Olisa uh, Herald. So now what I'm saying to you, you don't go out there and look for those players to keep them on the bench. When are you going to introduce them? Because if you damage the spine and the defensive line, you are going to back to square one. Get those players into uh, to have fluidity. We saw what Dubai can do in the national team. We saw what Nobu, we've seen the Cardosos and the Matoho, what they can give us. So I can say safely say when it comes to that, the signing chiefs that they've made, yes, I'm happy with them, but I think they still need to have uh, to add an addition when it goes, uh, when, 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 when you have to go on the wings and also from the striking department. Because I think with Castro and the injuries of Nokovic, it could actually backfire on them. <laughs> So now I understand, Greg, what you wanted to say. So you say players must be given a chance, still win. No, not given a chance. I'm saying that it is not it is not broken. Why you want to fix this? Cardoso and Namato, apart from the Champions League, which I mean, they you know we all know that you know it just uh, Alali was just you know too classic for them. You know where they consist three goals. Apart from them, I don't see other game that uh, okay they, they have done bad. They have, they have been doing very well. In terms of the in terms of the uh, the combination between him and Mato and Kadosu, for me, uh, okay, after missing the penalty is part of the game, but he still contributes in terms of scoring goals. You know, I just think they're still solid for now. The league is just uh, is just uh, just it just started now. About three games now with the cup game. I just feel like for me, you know, those yeah, Jabulu they're gonna come, you know, step by step as you say. You know, with the centre back, you don't just accept this injury or this suspension. 
there you can you can temper with that. But for me, yeah. uh, for me, I think Kadosu Kadosu are doing well now for now. Yeah, look, uh, for me, uh, for me, I, I, I agree with 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 Kelvin in terms of the acquisition of um, Cole Alexander and Patuche Zonange. That's the other player I'd like to add because uh, on previous occasions, you could see that teams were a bit lost in the middle of the park in most games, whereby they couldn't dominate all the games, they couldn't dominate the middle. And you know that the main important thing, when you start losing your middle pairing, then it's a problem because now the team cannot play, the team cannot defend well, will always be scattered all over the place. So I think for me, with the acquisition of Cole Alexander and Patuchet, they're going to form a very formidable uh, pair in terms of attacking and defensively. So they just have to find uh, a way to strike a balance as to who goes, who stays. And at the same time, the covering of the field as well, because you find that sometimes they are both in the same uh, side where they leave the other side exposed, where there's less cover. So I think those are the two key players that are going to be important as to giving the back for the confidence and the attacking side, the confidence, because with Patuchetzo as well, he's good going forward. He can spread those passes. And with what we've seen with the transitional play of Stuart backs, that seems like it's it's the mixture of um, with the diagonal switch as well, whereby Patuchetzo is good at that. We play one side, automatically switch the ball to the other side. So those are the things that they're going to need. But again, however, in terms of the full backs, like I've mentioned last week, Stuart needs to identify as to is he going back to the old Stuart that we've seen previously with Kaiser Chiefs, whereby he plays three center backs and two high up full backs. Or if he's going to stick with the two back four, then he needs to understand that the two pivots, he needs to add another midfielder who's going to stay central while these other two are going to cover wide. You understand? So those are the things that they also need to check and see how it's going to work for them. But I still say that. For me, the two uh, central midfield pairings are going to be very key for them this season in terms of going forward, giving the confidence to these guys and the, the, the left players uh, giving the confidence to their center backs as well. Okay, cool. We've got uh, Tlaganipo joining us uh, as he did uh, last week. Welcome again, Tlaganipo. What's on your mind tonight? Your mic is muted. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Yeah, there we go. I'm clear. Good people life. <laughs> uh, the window's closing tomorrow in Taganipo. How are you feeling about that? You got you happy with your lot? Um, it's closing tomorrow, but I'm not gonna get to see Pombule, so I'm not happy, but that's story for another day. <laughs> so I'm not getting it. but um but I'm I'm glad I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna carry him because I think the the type of coach we have, I because I've seen um on most so our social medias, Kaiser Chiefs fans, um it sounds like they are changing their tone towards Pakistan, but I don't know why, because I don't know what they were expecting. Because I, I remember the um when I was on the with you guys, I don't recall when it was, but you asked me what what I make of Baxter signing, and I told you that I'm I'm I'm, I'm expecting typical Baxter football, you know, um, and that that's why I, I don't know what Kiltis fans are expecting. I'm of course I'll, I'll be disappointed with I'm I'm disappointed with his style of play. Um, considering the we have the players now now pound for pound we have the players we can compete, um, so. Now, like I can clearly say that we we have the players in all departments. It's just, of course, every coach has his own style of play. Um, it's it's just the coach because there are a number of questions I have. That mm. I'm like, why why is Parker playing ninety minutes? Can someone please, with footballing brains, tell me <laughs> why is Parker playing ninety minutes? Please don't tell me the whole you know uh, leader. <laughs> Uh, captain, no, don't give me that. Why is mm, Paka mm, playing mm. minutes? I've seen guys. Why is Paka playing ninety minutes? And the past few seasons, Mato and Cardoso have been suspect. We need to quite what it is. Yes, Cardoso could score penalties here and there. Mato could like one, one, two good games does not mean mm. does not away from the fact that they've been suspect for the last yeah. couple of seasons. They've been right. suspect, and 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 we brought in defender of the season. And he's in the bench. What do you know? What are we doing here, guys? 
we bought in a depend of the season. We bought mm. in Virgil by night. You don't you you don't you don't what? buy Virgil from what? and say <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't you don't agree, Greg. No, 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 no. Greg is jealous. Greg is jealous. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Let me cook. Well, I, I was just making an analogy. I'm not saying he's as good as Virgil van Dijk. I'm saying mm. like you don't find it depend of the season and say you're gonna know uh, slowly put him in the games. No, you put him in 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 in, 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 in the thick of things. He's the right. depend of. The and Lungo is good. There's no running away from the fact that he's good. You know, it's just so. It's just those little things that I've seen that we have the players wrong substitutes. Who brings in a gay? Like we have no we have mm. yeah, like, like you, you I have nothing against Ake, okay, but he has brought nothing to the team. Unkambul is still on the bench. Why is he still on the bench? I would gladly, gladly pay for his trip. I <laughs> <laughs> the coach is clearly seeing something in training. So I mean Ungobo comes in ahead of who? Uh Ukatozo or Mato in your ideal setup. Um so, I would say just put in Ungo. Be mindful, be mindful mm-hmm. about your answer, Chagadipo, mm-hmm. because we had this conversation last week and I gave you a solution. And two days after, Kadoso came on and scored the goal. So, be yeah. mindful about your, your, your answer, please. So, I, because <laughs> I, I'm trying to be logical, but again, without putting my heart into it, because I love Ungo. Um, at all, but I can say that like his legs are, are slowly running out. But then again, because remember, Umato um, um, in his prime was complimented with um, um, Mashama you know. Mm-hmm, a, mm-hmm. So he made him look so good. Mm. Whereas with Ukato, so I'm I'm not happy with him on the ball. And he's on the ball. He's not good on the feet, yo. but when it, I mean, he's got he's got. Um, uh, Sure, penalties for us. Yeah, I mean, a hit once in a while. But <laughs> I think I would put Ungo, I would, I would put Ungo over there. Um, I am so right now. Put Ungo with my toe now. For now. Okay. Yeah, for I, now. No, no, no. You know, you know for there, for there, for there, I don't think Basta, we, we try that. Because why? You remember on the Basta when he was successful at Kaiser Chief? The, 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 the main soldiers for him were Mato, yeah, which I mean, it's quite a lot of goals with set piece. So when the coach come back, he always have that loyalty in terms of the player. Going to Parker yeah. issue, I think, I think uh, for Parker issue, for him to play 90 minutes, I mean, you have two coaches now. You have uh, even on the... On the uh, Gavin Hunt. Gavin Hunt, yeah. now yeah. with Buster. I mean, there's something right uh, Parker is doing a training week in, week out. No, um, I, think, I think it's a matter of the, the, te- the technical ability. The technical ability in terms of uh, uh, positioning, especially second half, if you can look at it this way. With, with, with Parker, he covers more ground defensively, right? Yeah. In terms of yeah. giving the younger boy, the guys with the fresh legs going forward, it gives them more confidence. So he acts as a yeah. cover in terms of when one midfielder goes forward, he's there to cover. So I think tactically, that's one thing he's getting it right. He's getting it right in terms of knowing his defensive zone I, and knowing when to track back. I, I think so. To add there, to add, to add there, you know, Parker is one, is one player in that team that is street smart. You always need a street smart player in any team. And he's yeah. the one that, you know, when they are leading, he can cool the game. He yes. uh, has been there. He has won a lot of uh, cups. He has won a lot of games. I mean, he is one player. If you want a player to be in that team, which you are building a lot of new players coming uh, into Kaiser Chiefs, he's one player you want. You always want, you know, to be in the team. And for him, his leg is carrying him. For him to finish 90 minutes, I think he's a very smart player. You know, he he's a strict white player, and you need that player in your team. I think Parker is doing very well for me. Yeah. Uh, three yeah. three things that three things that Parker does well. Uh, for Tlagani, but just to assist him on that. Parker yeah. is the initiator for counter press, and count, uh, Parker is the one that plays between the lines, and Parker is the one that understands on how to play into half spaces. Yeah. We might look at him in terms of defending more, 
But now, remember, that's a trap that they set because Stuart Baxter plays on transition. Transition meaning he plays on a counter-attack. So when you are playing on a counter-attack, you have your Parker that will initiate the counter-press and push the team to one side so then they can overload that side. Now, why you do that is so that you don't expose the midfielders where you have passing lanes, having balls for them to find the striker. So when you delay play, when you have a counter-press or you set a, a pressing trap, is so that they can always rotate and rebuild or keep the position, possess the ball into their own area. But if they get a progression pass moving forward, then it becomes dangerous. This is when Parker becomes important because if they go on a side and have an overload of a 2v1 on a defender, depending in terms of the technical abilities, the player could be can restart because mm -hmm. you know, press a player that can play that is comfortable on the ball. So you set your action in a player that is weaker. You close the player that can play and free the player that cannot play. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it makes my, my only gripe is just the full 90 minutes. Because I've, 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 seen, I've seen what Kelvin is talking about, but I just I just don't believe that's sustainable for, for 90 minutes for, for Parker. In, in the games that I've seen him, I, I'd rather have him start than get substituted off, you know, because um, Parker has changed has changed roles from being from the Parker we know from me from being an out and out striker, scoring goals. He's dropped back even in that position. I wouldn't say he's the he's the best we have right now, you know. And 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 speaking of strikers, the the transition between Utoli and Ukama Piliad, just uh, moving away quickly from Parker is I can see that. U U Unokovic is not comfortable with that style of play. You know, mm. that style of play, that that past style of play, would want like you know a false number nine, like you know one Roberto Firmino type of player, not an out and out striker, a target man like U Unokovic. You know, because I've seen him, he 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 really gets low sometimes. Sometimes sometimes I was with him because oh yeah, U U U told you know Unokama they really have a have say and have some sort of a synergy. You know, so. Mm. Then Ulogandji Unukovic is not that type of a, of, of a player, so I think we might need a a striker, but who who can drop back? I be force number nine. Yeah, but, uh, like who's good on the feet? Uh, Unukovic like we are lazy pal or shiny, but you know he's just playing the the touches with, with with the guys going forward. It's a bit of an issue for him. Um, that's one thing I've 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 picked up. But all, all in all, I yeah, yeah, Kelvin. Yeah, Danny Paul, don't, don't, don't you feel that uh, Nukovic gets frustrated in a manner that they play because the Kama and the and the Dolly they understand in terms of where they need to move and then how they need to position themselves. With the Stewart, we can always change it around and say we had the same Gata that was the same as the Nukovic, but how mm -hmm. was Gata effective? Gata was more patient. He understood what needs to be done. But remember yeah. now, they are playing mostly on counter attack, so meaning that is going to burn a lot of energy. And there are times where he's not going to be forced to stay up, but he needs to come drop deeper into the half space to receive. So allow the wingers, the dollies, yeah. the commas to find the spaces in behind the players. Yeah. Because if he's a point of reference, if he holds mm -hmm. a play, that's why you have your parker there for those loose balls that will drop around. Then those balls yeah. will always go to your dolly, your 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 come up like for a cross in the box. So if mm -hmm. the Nekovic can stand, stay between the box, just like the Sefranco, be more in the yeah. box more, you'll get more joy on that. Mm -hmm. But the problem yeah. is that they also drifted him wide. They drifted him wide to a point that now the uh, the team is no longer working for Nekovic as they used to yeah. be last season. Now it's more of him working more for the team because now you see how he drops he drops he's, 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 he's he looks like he's very lost in the middle of the park yeah. whereas what kelvin is saying is that he can stay within the within the the the, the, the box he can stay in the box and let dolly and kama work for him and be patient enough to say fine it's coming i don't have to drop I don't have to drop deeper because what he's doing now, he's covering a lot of ground between defensive and the attacking zone, whereby that's not the Nukovic that we know. And he gets, he ends up being frustrated. That's why you find now he's committing so many fouls. 
He's, he's, he's just all over the place. Whereas he should be patient enough to let the boys work for him and the ball will come to him. I think all in all, for me, uh, personally, I feel I'm happy with the signings we've made. It could have been better, but I'm happy with the signings we've made. I'm happy with the players, with the bunch of players we have, you know. Um, and I think for me, it would kill me to see Ungobo, you know, um, 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 Shin, um being, because I can see like, like he's being phased out. Um, it it really killed uh, kill kill me to to see that boy. He's a gem. I'd love to mm. see that what what that boy Unange and the cold would do in the middle of it. I would, I would kill for that. But I think all in all, I'm happy with the signings. I'm not happy with the coach, but I'm happy with the signings. So now it becomes <laughs> it it becomes a bit tricky because you are happy with what you have, but you're not happy with the person conducting or making use of what you have. So. Yeah, but all in all, getting behind the team, seeing where we go. But I'm, I'm not. Based on what I've seen, I think it's the players who take it upon themselves to win us games, not Baxter's. Um, um, and I'll be no. I'll, let me not disrespect the, the great coach that he's. But he's a typical. The, the, the te- his technical acumen is good. Yeah, it's just a yeah. matter of. It's, it's just a matter of saying, okay, what what is he working with right now? You understand? Yeah. Because look at it this way. Chiefs, tactically, from the previous coaches and so forth, they were poor. They went to a point where you couldn't even recognize the structure, whether there's two banks of four or they're playing three, five or whatsoever in one frame. I think with Baxter, what he's good at is his tactical acumen. So what we need to do yeah. now is just give him the chance to find his feet with the players that he has. And with you can see his approach as well. He's trying to introduce and implement his strategy Obviously, yeah. it's not going to happen overnight. You understand? And at yeah. the same time, he needs to take the cautious approach in terms of saying, yes, yeah, much as I want to instill again that philosophy, I need to make sure that I win games or I don't lose games at all. So those are the things that they're going to take time. But at the same time, there's no time in South African football because we demand yeah. results. We demand a whole lot of things. You understand? He already yeah. lost his first trophy. He lost, he lost the... The Champions League, you understand? So those are the yeah. things that are very important and he already lost the NTNA. It's out, you know? So those are the things that, how do we then get to a point whereby tactically we feel like we are solid? I believe that now Chiefs tactically, they're starting to, to take shape. It's just a yeah. matter now of the understanding that uh, Kevin is talking about in terms of the front three. How do yeah. we now include all the mobility and the, the tactical what, aspect of things, you understand? What, so those are the things that we need to look at, that's all. What do you, what do you think, Brighton, with uh, Un- Un- Unokovic? How do we navigate that, like Unokovic right now? Like, the, the whole Nok- thing, what do you think of it? Nokovic, I believe that he still, he needs to stay central, because yeah. that's, that, that was his strength. His, his, his movements should be just half-moon movements within the D-line, within the box. And let Keegan and Kamabilia, because we have, you, Chiefs does have creative players who can, who can work the magic. We saw now with the recent game with Keegan and Billiard, how they were combining. Therefore, what Kelvin Sosi was saying is very much true. When you have players who are like that, be a player like your David uh, Villa. David Villa would play passive offside, he'd walk around the pitch and wait for that right moment. You get my point. So th- that's that's one thing that he needs, of which I feel he doesn't have that. Reason being, he's used to the responsibility that he got last season, whereby if there's no Nokovic, there's no goal. Now he feels like the position is threatened. Now there's this CBD that he didn't know it's com- where it's coming from. A whole lot of things, they play a factor psychologically to a player. So all he has to do, he has to believe in himself, has the confidence and just be patient. It will come. Play passive offside and so forth, just come in and there. He'll get the chance. Let the boys in front of him do the mobility work, and then he'll get the chances. Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, are you happy with that breakdown? Um, yeah, thank you so much. I just have one quick question for the three guys. I just need quick answers from three. Um, where, where, where do you guys see Chiefs um, ending on, on, on the log at the end of the season? Kelvin, Brighton, Greg? Top eight. Definitely top four. No, no, just, just, just give me a purple. just give me a number, okay. Kelvin. Can I please oh, have a number? Uh, number four. Number four. Number okay, four. let's go to Greg. Ah, uh, that we end number five. 
Uh, Brighton? Between two and three. All right. Ntlagani po, number one. Good luck. Good luck. All the best. Uh, but I mean it. Like It's going to be an interesting season. Thank you very much, Ntlagani po, for joining us. I think, yeah, it's uh, not going to be as cut and dry. We're already speaking about uh, how... You know, Silo also as a Sundowns fan is 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 not convinced of the way they're playing. So there are doubts all around. But